Hi, this is uh, Pete Chavez with Sika. Just a quick video on how you could actually use an iPod Touch to actually process um, behavior or attendance or tardies. All you need is an ID card that actually has a barcode similar to this. Uh, we actually have a really nice thermal printer that actually uh, is connected via internet to the iPod. So this is an air print uh, thermal printer. So let's say we have a secretary in front of the office that actually processes behavior or those students coming in tardy. And so what you would do is you would put in your credentials and uh, click on login. And right when you log in, you could actually see a variety of buttons that the secretary would have access to. Now keep in mind that each individual uh, at your school would have uh, assigned buttons. So in this situation, we actually have the secretary that has a variety of buttons that she can choose from. So we are gonna go ahead and process a tardy for seventh period. So as long as you have an ID card with a barcode, you're able to use Sika. So right when you click on the button, there's a few things that actually uh, uh, come up on the next screen. You could actually use a front camera to process uh, the ID card. Now right below that, you could actually process an ID card as long as it has a barcode on it. And Sika can read over 20 different types of barcodes. If the student does not have a barcode, you can do an ID lookup and just click there and you could actually type in the first name, last name, or the ID number of the student. On the left here, you see Bluetooth scan. That means you could actually connect a Bluetooth scanner and process ID cards. This is great like for school dances or events where you're gonna have a multitude of students there, you need to process them quick. On the right, you see face scan. So this is for those students that don't have an ID card. Sika can actually process the student just by putting your camera up to the face of the student and process the student tardy or entering an event. So let's go ahead and just click on ID uh, scan. So what happens is that the camera in the back actually uh, turned on and we actually have our ID card here. So what you would do is simply put the ID card in the back. It would actually process the student. And then uh, to print, you just click on the back and what would happen is that the pass is actually there. You click on print. It does take a few seconds just to go through uh, the Wi-Fi and to the printer and you actually get your pass. So the pass actually has the date of the scan, the time. It also has the reason why the student was scanned, who actually processed the scan. So in this case, uh, it was myself, ID number, and also um, the student's name and great information. We do have another barcode there, so in case the kid does not have an ID card, you can still use that one to process the student uh, in the classroom or maybe in the hallways if he's not going to the classroom. So there you have it. Um, Sika can print via uh, uh, AirPrint using an iPod, an I iPad, also an iPhone, uh, and you could also use an Android or even a computer PC. Mac or Chrome to process students. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. My number is 559-393-7322. Thank you. Bye.